Hello everyone and welcome back, it's B1 here with another guide for New World. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cheap method of levelling armouring. Apart from furnishing, this skill is probably the most resource hungry skill in the game, so it can get really expensive. Again, firstly I want to go into a bit more detail about efficiency, which I mentioned at the start of our previous guide. When levelling resource hungry skills like armouring, it's nearly always going to be more efficient to buy the materials from the trading house. This is because there is much better ways of making gold than how much gold you would make if you gathered the basic materials yourself. People usually think if I go out and mine 6,000 iron ore that it's free because I've saved myself the gold that I would have spent buying it. This is incorrect in a game like New World. That's because there is an opportunity cost to everything that you do. What I mean by this is if you have a solid method of making gold such as legendary material farming for example, which is netting you upwards of 5,000 gold an hour, you are losing money in time if you go out and gather the materials needed for armoring yourself. As an example, you might be able to turbo mine six or 7,000 iron ore in an hour if you're lucky, have all the buffs and gear, and have an uncontested area, but this only equates to 1,200 to 1,400 gold. While your usual money-making method of skinning high-level boars for legendary materials, for example, gets you up to 10,000 gold an hour. So in this example, you can see it will be much more efficient to grind some gold and buy all the materials yourself rather than gathering them. Sorry if I'm teaching any of you to suck eggs, but some people do not know this and it should always be considered. Of course, if you prefer to go out and gather all the materials yourself in true Iron Man fashion, then crack on. It's just not very efficient. Now, onto armouring. I have found two resources that can be used to substitute out the tier 2 resource requirement for linen and iron ingots. As always, prices vary between servers, but from our comparisons they are quite similar for iron ingots and linen both costing at around 0.7 gold each. Instead of using these, I used fey iron and shade cloth. As you can see, I was buying up thousands of these for really, really cheap, much cheaper than the iron ingot and linen equivalent. Now because of the big price difference between linen and shade cloth, there is a bit of a trick you can do to massively cut down the gold you spend by using the salvage system. You can make linen shoes which give you 108 experience and cost 5 shade cloth which I bought at 0.05 each, 3 coarse leather which costs 0.5 each and 1 fey iron which costs 0.2 each. This means the total cost per craft is 1.95 gold or 55.3 experience per gold spent. Now this is where it gets interesting, as you can salvage them and get back 1 to 2 linen for each salvage. Linen costs 0.7 gold each. So we're effectively subbing out the linen at the crafting stage for shade cloth, which is much cheaper, and get linen back at the salvage stage, which is much more expensive. I've done a quick test which you can see on the screen where I salvaged 10 pairs and got 11 linen back. I have tested this on a much larger scale and averaged just over 1.2 of the primary resource back per boot or glove salvaged. For comparison's sake, let's take the lower number of 1.1 linen. So for every boot you make costing 1.95 gold, you're now getting back 0.77 gold worth of linen for each salvage. This gives you a net cost of 1.18 gold. If you add this to the equation, this increases your experience gained per gold spent to a huge 91.5. This is the best experience that you can get, value-wise for your gold, right up to 200 armoring. You need 1,379,500 experience to get to 200 armoring, so this would cost just over 15,000 gold, which for one of the most expensive and resource-heavy skills in the game is very, very cheap. Now, if this is not viable for you because for some reason shade cloth and fey iron are really expensive, or you have a massive gold duping resource hungry exploiter whale on your server, so everything's expensive, then I have some other recommendations. At every new tier milestone, so level 50, 100 and 150 armoring, you want to be making the highest tier available gloves. Depending on the prices of materials on your server, you want to be either making the light or medium not the heavy pairs as they are made with ingots which are incredibly expensive. You want to be making the highest tier because that gives you the most amount of experience and you want to be making gloves as that gives you the most amount of experience per primary resource used. Gloves only use four compared to the other armor pieces. Your primary resource, for example rugged leather, will always be the most expensive part of the craft and as gloves only use four, you get 1.2 back when you salvage them. 
If you prefer to use this method over the other one, because for example, you want to gather the hide yourself and level up your leather working, just note that Fey Iron and Shade Cloth can both be used as secondary ingredients right up to level 200. But please be aware though, the crafting stations will charge you a crafting fee in the form of tax. So make sure you add these to your calculations as it varies depending on the company who owns and controls the town. Thanks again everyone for tuning in. As you can probably tell, this is a new channel and we really appreciate all the support we've had so far. As always, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this content and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see next. Thanks and good night.